Hey friend, welcome to my channel. Today video we're going to talk about how to install Splunk in Ubuntu 20.04. So for those who are very new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and of course like, share and comment. So let's get started and uh, this is going to be a lot surprise. So stay until the end and uh, you'll be really happy as usual. <laughs> There is two types of Splunk version. There is cloud and enterprise. We're gonna cover enterprise for our video. Let's explain what is Splunk Enterprise. Splunk Enterprise is a software product that enable you to search, analyze, and visualize the data gathered from the component of your IT infrastructure or business. Splunk Enterprise takes in data from website, application, sensor, device, and so on. After you define the data source, Splunk Enterprise indexes the data stream and passes it into a series of individual events that you can view and search. Most users connect to Splunk Enterprise with web browser and use Splunk Web to administrate their deployment manage and create knowledge objects, run searches, create pivot and report and so on. So you can also use the command line interface to administrate your Splunk Enterprise deployment. Well, the requirement is quite easy. So in order to install a Splunk Enterprise, you need to have your virtual boss install your Ubuntu 20.04 install and ready to rock and roll. Make sure you download the Splunk from the Splunk website directly. That be said, let's start with downloading our uh, Splunk Enterprise because I've got already all the lab set up. I mean, I've got a virtual box already set up. I've got the Ubuntu already. And now we're gonna download the Splunk itself. So you can see on the screen that we've got two choices you go to cloud one and the enterprise we're going to select the enterprise one but make sure you register in order to download because if you don't put all your credential there it's going to be difficult to download it so fill out all this form you're going to get the email and uh, activate it everything going to be ready for you to download so just keep watching and uh, it's going to take a bit some time but just be patient and it's gonna be ready for you to 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 get the download once all your research is done now you got a chance to choose which operating system you're gonna use so we got a, a window Linux and Mac we're gonna use the Linux option that's why we're gonna use for our Ubuntu so you're gonna take the last one the last one is the dot deb then click download once you click download on that you can have that window and what you need to do just click OK to confirm your download and you see on the right hand corner your download activity once your download is ready what you need to do now is open up the terminal and put the information I'm gonna show in the screen to start your installation from the terminal use sudo apt install dot splunk and the file name for your download so for those one go habit to use uh, Linux they know what I'm talking about don't worry I'm gonna leave all the information below So once the installation is done, go to your computer and check out this important folder. So you click on my computer, you'll find opt, then Splunk folder, then you'll find the bin. Inside of the bin, you'll find the executable, what you're looking for is called Splunk. So scroll down until you find it. 
So if you find it, that means everything is working fine. To start this Splunk Enterprise is quite easy. Just follow the command I put to my screen or my terminal to fire up the Splunk Enterprise. On this screen, you can read all the general term and then confirm by say yes in the bottom. So it's really gonna take you a bit longer because it's really you need to scroll down till the end, then confirm by yes. From here, you need to use your username and a password and confirm the password in order to use Splunk Enterprise. Once you're happy about it, so confirm again another yes in the hand of it to make sure that the Splunk Enterprise is really fire up with a correct port number, which normally is 8000. But if you got a problem, like did my case, I did have a little bit of issue on that, I changed to 8001 to make a different port. Now everything is ready, just go to your browser, put your IP number and the port number which is going to be the 8001. Then bingo, you go to Splunk Enterprise in front of you. You put your username you just created and the password and it's going to let you in automatically with no doubt. So just put it in and it's done. Now you can click on, on this button, um, ignore this one, click on this one and then enjoy the Splunk Enterprise. I'll let you have fun of it and uh, try to go around and check out all the information. Yeah, of course we don't have much data yet for this example, but I'll let you go around. This is the end of this video. My name is Tido. We hope you enjoy the video and find value in the content. We value your feedback. If you have any question or suggestion, feel free to post them in the comment section below or contact us directly via our social platform. So that be say, thank you very much and I'll see you to the next video to come.